Hi, this is Ed Lane, and this is October 2021's Northwest Market Update. You're going to want to tune in this month because we're going to tell you all about not only what's going on in the market, but what has the impact been of the lifting of the foreclosure moratorium, which just got lifted last week. So stay tuned. Hi, this is Ed Lane with Hometown Advisor Real Estate, bringing you your REO inventory report for the Pacific Northwest for October 2021. Before I get into the content, feel free to subscribe and pound that little bell so you get notified when my videos come out. But in this episode, we're going to talk about what the moratorium is doing in our market and what you should be doing if you have assets to sell in the Seattle MSA. We're still very much in a seller's market. What we're finding, though, is that there are a lot of buyers suffering from what I would call buyer fatigue. They are tired of getting their teeth kicked in. They're tired of being one of 20 offers. And as a result, we are seeing fewer and fewer bidding wars. Now, that doesn't mean we can't still get multiple offers on a property, but it does place a premium on pricing it correctly. You see, the typical buyer, they're pretty savvy. So now they're going to look at your properties and they're going to go, okay, what is the list price and how good of a deal does that price seem? Because in their mind, it is guaranteed to get bid up. And if it's already at the top of the range, they're just not even going to go see it. So you really want to price your home so that it is a perceived decent deal so that they then come out to the property and hopefully fall in love with it when they're there. And then that's what will help them decide to get aggressive. The other bit uh, that seems to be working very well in this market is we do offer review dates, but we oftentimes will accept an offer before the review date arrives. And that's because we may or may not have other interest, but that buyer thinks that by being aggressive early, they can prevent us from bringing in more competition on the review date. And so they'll be really aggressive on the price, oftentimes bidding above the asking price almost always, otherwise you wouldn't bother doing it. And then we can actually counter them and get them to go even higher. And that helps us get what we need. So there's a few ways to go. Uh, we're always gonna give you the best possible advice given the specifics of the property and what the market's doing at the moment. We're also gonna give you great advice on repairs. I am a licensed general contractor. So not only can I tell you from my 30 years of real estate experience, what the upgrade should be, but I can tell you very accurately what they will cost. And then we'll help arrange uh, subs and or get the work done for you, or we'll use your property preservation crew, whatever uh, your policies are, we will subscribe to those. So that's it. The Pacific Northwest is still a hotbed. With the lifting of the moratorium, we're expecting an increase in foreclosures for October, and then a bit of a quiet period during uh, November, December, and January because of the 120 day notice of trustee sale period. And then we expect to see some inventory hitting the market in February. So that's your REO inventory report from the Northwest for October, 2021. Feel free to look me up online. You can find me on Instagram at Mr. Ed Lane. You can also find me on Twitter at Ed Lane Agent. And this is Ed Lane signing off.